marks the ninth running of this very successful <coughs> event and I would like to thank all our sponsors who helped to make this day possible. In particular, Deanston Distillery who donate bottles of whiskey, one of which I think is going to be poured into the river. Not, not the whole bottle of stuff. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> thank goodness for that. Monica Moore Hotel and the Lewis fa uh, family who help with our catering, as do Campbell's, Angling Active who kindly donate our media and marketing, and the Dune and Deanston Pipe Band. I think they deserve a round of applause. Yay. And of course, Sterling Council. <laughs> thank you, thank you, sir. <laughs> Well, this morning was a, a real privilege for me to be able to open this, say, this salmon season on the teeth. As everybody knows, the teeth is a, a migratory fish, fishery of, uh, of excellence. Um, it, uh, it has international status, uh, SAC, and of course the government has classed it as a, as a class one uh, fishery. Um, I'm particularly pleased to open it because I'm a great supporter of Stirling Council fishery team. They've done so much over, over the years to promote conservation uh, and best practice. And one of their projects this year is uh, to uh, make it the year of the youth. And that's really important to me because the youth are the... Uh, the caretakers of the river in the future and, uh, and our, our future anglers. So I very much uh, support that. Um, I'm very pleased that my family is uh, associated uh, uh, with the river because the river, especially the, the river teeth, has been a big, a big part of my, my life uh, through fishing. I'm particularly glad, uh, keen on fishing uh, for, sea, for sea trout at night. Uh, I'm very pleased to see my granddaughter who's only, she's just coming up for seven, she's interested, she's got her own wee rod and all the rest of it, and her dad, my, my son-in-law, I consider to be one, a, a really, a really excellent uh, uh, fly fisher, and I believe that he's uh, going to uh, pick up a prize tonight at the, at the dinner. And while the, the teeth itself is well known f for its, uh, its, its fishing and all the rest of it, there are one or two problems that we really need to talk about. And for me, who stays, uh, my front door is 60 yards from, from the river, and I'm down at the river on a day-to-day -day basis seeing what's going on. And uh, one of my concerns over the last two or three years is the increase in population uh, on sawbills, uh, mergansers, cormorants, and, and things like that. And the reason I want to talk about this, it's a controversial subject, um, Species conflict is, is, is always, you know, it's, it's, diffi it's difficult. But the fact of the matter is that there's far too many of our smokes are getting eaten before they get anywhere near the sea. And that, to me, is, 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 is a big concern. Now, surely, it's 2018, surely we can all get together, both sides can get together, and with a wee bit of 
compromise and a wee bit of collaboration, we can find a way forward. I'm certainly not advocating that we should go out and shoot them or anything like that. That's against the law and that's not what I'm saying. But what we need to, what we need to do is to talk about it. There should be no winners, there should be no losers in this, but now is the time that we need to, to talk about it.